Hey guys, it's Big Toe. Welcome back. So for this video, I collaborated with the game dev. He's an amazing game dev YouTuber who posts quality content consistently. We make very similar content, so it was natural for us to collaborate. Make sure to check him out after this video. Our challenge was to make a game only using particles. Yeah, so, so we basically just yoinked Zyger's video. I mean, it does have over 200 views, and I wouldn't mind some of that. By the way, according to YouTube statistics, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are subscribed. It only takes a few seconds, and you can always change your mind. It'll motivate me to make more quality videos for you guys. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. We planned this collab around two weeks ago. The game dev started on his game immediately after a call. Meanwhile, I was busy working on another video. I only started on my game on the day we were supposed to submit. Kinda like school. I went to the beach in the morning and when I got home, I had 5.5 hours left. I spent 30 minutes planning, so this meant that I only had 5 hours to work on my game. <sighs> Great. So I have zero experience with Unity's particle system. I fiddled around with it a bit, but that's pretty much it. And that's kind of a problem seeing as I'm making a game only using particles. So I decided to make the particles simple, I just used the default particles and changed some settings. This was the result. It's, it's not bad. Seeing as I only have a few hours, I decided to keep the game simple. I had an interesting idea for a game. The player is controlled with the mouse and the enemies spawn randomly around the map, moving towards the player slowly. Sounds simple enough. I made the player movement by searching up how to make object follow the mouse. I found this code and copied and picked, I mean followed it for my own project. It works, but the player is too slow. With a few tweaks, the player movement is now perfect. I duplicated the player, turned it red, made it smaller, and that's our enemy. I followed this quick tutorial by Blackthorn Prod. If you're watching this by any chance now, I'm a big fan. It was only a few lines, but it worked perfectly. After that, I worked on the enemy spawner. I have some experience with spawners as I made one in my survival game. By the way, if you haven't watched it, it was my first couple videos, so check them out. Anyways, I made 8 empty game objects. These will act as our spawn points. I made a script that randomizes between these points and spawns an enemy every certain amount of time. Now our enemy- What the fuck happened here? Now our game has enemies that spawn randomly between our 8 spawn points. I did this all in less than an hour, mainly because I copied most of the code. Okay, now we need combat. I'll handle the player attack first though. I duplicated the player again to make an attack particle. I turned it purple and made it burst into a circle. I tried to add colliders to every single particle but due to my lack of experience, I couldn't do it. So I just used a circle collider on the particle. After a bit of coding, the enemies are destroyed when the player attacks. I also added player lives. You have 3 in total and if it reaches 0, it's game over. Now time for enemy combat. It was pretty easy to implement. All I had to do was check if the enemy collides with the player. If they do, the enemy is destroyed and the player life variable goes down by 1. I spent most of my time adding these features, around 1.5 hours. Mostly because I struggled with the attack collision. I made some text for the lives to display the current lives. I updated the text by using this line of code. Pretty simple. I also added the kill text which I later changed to score. It goes up by 1 when killing enemies. A major feature I wanted to add to the game was a countdown timer between attacks. I made countdown timers in the past but I need some assistance from YouTube as I forgot most of it. After a bit of coding, we have this. When the timer reaches 0, the text changes to ready. I wasn't really happy with it so I later removed it. The UI makes the game feel more complete, especially the cooldown timer. It's pretty cool. I wanted to make the game harder as time goes on, so I sped up the enemy spawner every 20 score. I achieved this by checking if the score is more than or equal to 20. If so, increase the spawn speed. I did this for a bit until it became too fast. This makes the game feel like it's progressing and it's not stagnant. The game is actually really fun to play. I just need to improve the visuals a bit. So I made another particle effect for the background. I made it small, colorful, and moves slowly to represent stars. Kind of. I don't really know what it is, it just makes the game look better. I also added some color to the text to make them stand out more and pop. I made the countdown text purple when it's zero. This informs the player that their attack is ready to go. This is the game so far. It's definitely fun to play, but there's something big missing. Yeah, sounds. Sounds and music will make this game 10 times better, trust me. I watched Sparky's video about implementing audio in Unity by using an audio manager script. I followed the code, reused some sounds from an old game, added some background music, and this is the result. In my opinion, this is way better. The sound effects make the game so much more complete, especially the background music. I got it from YouTube, so link in the description. 
It was getting late, but I wanted to add some coins as a reward system. Maybe in the future I can add like a shop where you can buy new abilities and stuff. I duplicated the enemy particle effect, turned it yellow, and made a simple coin script. I made a new variable in the game manager called coins. It increments by one when the player collides with the coin. The thing that I had the most trouble with was the spawning. I was thinking of just reusing the enemy spawner, but I didn't want the coins to just spawn like in spawn points. I wanted them to spawn randomly on the screen, so I searched up how to make objects spawn randomly in a 2D area. I found this code online, yoinked it, and put it in my game. It worked amazingly. The coins now spawn randomly in the play area every 5 seconds. Now, a game isn't complete without a menu. So, I put together this quick menu. I made a play and quit button. I needed to come up with a quick name, so I used my very small brain and came up with this. Party kills. Get it? It, it kinda sounds like particles, but with party and kills. D don't ask me why. You don't like it? Well, fuck you. I also added a control panel on the side to let the player know how to play the game. Lastly, I reused the background particles and put it in the menu to make it less boring. There it is! After 5 hours of tireless coding, I finally finished my game. I had a blast making it. I learned so much about the particle system and other coding techniques. If you guys want me to publish the game, comment down below. Anyways, without further ado, let's see what the game dev made. My game is gonna be embarrassing compared to his, isn't it? Oh, fuck. By the way, sorry if I sound boring in the video. It was 1am in the morning and everyone was sleeping, so I was trying to keep quiet. Also, the game dev made a 2 player game and I had no one to play it with, so I just played it by myself. I usually do that with games anyways, cause I have no friends. Like, as you're playing. Yeah. Is it, is it lagging or is it just, no, it's just the um, screen tear? Okay. okay. Um, I'm ready. Yeah. So then, yeah. Then you use the uh, other analog stick to aim for the red player. Like move the yellow thing. Oh, yeah. Wait. What's this yellow thing? So that's like the aiming thing. So like, uh, whenever you shoot, it goes towards the the yellow thing. Oh, you have to you have to shoot with the um, left trigger. Sorry, I didn't put that in the instructions. Oh. Oh yeah, I probably should have put that in this <laughs> in the Wait, tutorial. Was, what's this one? I was pressing this. Wait, how long did it take it to I, make I don't this? Know. It, it took like a few days, but like literally the longest part was doing the background art. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm, I'm, when you play my game, it's gonna be so much worse than this. I played it in like five hours. But like, dude, the controls yeah, well, are so good. Jesus. Uh, Oh wait, what? Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so like when you kill the other person then it restarts and like when someone gets 5 wins then the round's over and you can like play again or go to the oh. uh, main menu. Oh, this is the teleport to like... That's, yeah. That's cool. For something, but I didn't have oh, time, wait. so... If I press B, it shoots with the other character. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, look. What? Okay, that's a bug. <laughs> I didn't know about that. It's really polished, though. Oh, the screen. Thank you. I didn't even realize the screen shakes as well when the. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and like also, if you, like, take take the green thing close to the blue one, and then shoot, and like, you can like control the bullet, or like where the bullet goes. Oh. Well, that's sick. So like the closer your aimer is to the um, player, the slower you shoot. Yeah. It, it actually it was a mistake. Like I I wasn't expecting it to do that, and then like oh. I went and played it, and that's what happened. So I left it in because I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. Wait, if you shoot a bullet, does it teleport as well? Oh, it doesn't. And uh, that would actually be pretty cool though. Yeah. No, if this game had sound effects, it would be so good. Oh, dude, I'm gonna be so embarrassed when you play my game. <laughs> dude, don't judge me no, too much. Yeah. <laughs> D don't worry, I, I won't judge it. I've been through those times, and I, I know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how'd you... Well, I mean... Oh, there we go. Player one wins. <laughs> Which one's player one? Blue? Uh, the blue one, yeah. Hide Slowly behind. until you... You can, like, hide behind the screen. Yeah, and then you, you curve it around there. Yeah, look at that. Dude, I'm a pro at this game. 
<laughs> well, you can like make the bullet stay still. Yeah, so you can shoot too, and like you can build up your army of bullets. So like, oh, what? if you shoot, yeah. Sick. All right, so are you gonna play my game now? Okay. <sighs> Thank you, the game dev, for collaborating with me. I had tons of fun, and hopefully you did as well. Keep up the great work on your channel. I'm excited for our next collab. Watch his side of the challenge on his channel. Subscribe to both of us as we work very hard on these game dev videos. It only takes a few seconds, and it would mean a lot to us. Anyways, that's it for me. Peace. Yeah, finished it. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.